I first learned about Scranton when I was a little boy because I grew up in a town that is right on the Delaware River, the town of Phillipsburg, New Jersey. The first time I saw the city was uh, at the age of 43. I was a novice with the Jesuits and invited to go down and give a couple of vocation talks. That was the first time I met Father Pilars. And in a really profound way that I can only appreciate now in hindsight, I remember him saying to me, who knows, with any luck and with God's grace, maybe after you're done with your formation, you'll be able to come here and work at the University of Scranton. I worked in higher education administration for about 17 years before I joined the Jesuits. I had the privilege of serving in various administrative posts, St. John's University first, then Montclair State University, and finally at Providence College. I met the Jesuits when I began my doctoral program at Fordham University. Meeting them was comparable to being away on a long vacation, coming home, putting your key in the door and walking in. There's no feeling like that when you know that you're home. The idea of community, its value and its importance is something that lies at the heart of a liberal arts education. Forming a community, not only students with students, but a real community that includes faculty, staff, administrators, alumni, Jesuits. People become friends. Some fall in love and end up getting married. This is all part of community building, and in the end, it reflects the model of the church. And as a Catholic and Jesuit institution, that's exactly what we want to do. What I'd like to say to the Scranton family is thank you. Thank you for inviting me into your midst. This is the privilege of a lifetime, and I promise you that I'm going to do everything I can to live up to the confidence that you're showing in me at this moment. And the last thing I'll say is, go Royals. <laughs>